All right, folks, Simon coming at you again with another live self-commentary game from the Chandrian Invitational Tournament of 2021. This is the 7x7 game, as you can see by the board I've got in front of me. And today's opponent is going to be No Hat Coder. Uh, definitely one of the top players of TAC in the world. Um... He has won a couple tournaments, uh, come in second in a lot of tournaments and stuff like that as well. Um, wrote uh, my favorite strategy guide for TAC uh, that I recommend to pretty much everybody because it's fantastic. Everybody should check it out if they are wanting to learn the game and get a little bit better at it. Uh, it took me from being a <laughs> subpar player to being a slightly better than average player so i i definitely recommend that um but yeah so i'll be playing no hat coder today in the chandra invitational i still haven't quite figured out how i like to use the second capstone in sevens um and, and so so this will be another sort of experiment i haven't really practiced sevens at all besides just playing these tournament games so uh, we'll see how how no hat does he's definitely probably top three players um yeah i would put him at top three um and so yeah he he I believe came in second place yeah he came in second place in the usta 2020 open uh just uh, a month or so ago so so yeah he uh he's he's good He's, he's better than I am. <laughs> As a general rule, no hat's better than I am. In the early days of TAC, he was uh, pretty... Um, he was he was the best player for a while. And, like, undisputedly the best player. And uh, I would sometimes sneak wins in on him. And he would get annoyed because he could beat everybody. And then I would play, like, just terribly against... Uh, against bots or other people and then i would play against him and i'd win because i'd do something ridiculous and uh i don't have that luck anymore <laughs> but uh but we'll see how today's tournament goes uh today's tournament match goes um so we should be starting here in just a couple seconds and uh and yeah we'll see uh we'll see how this goes all right i have set up the seek we are just about ready to start play here in the game against no hat coder i have white he has black Ooh, okay this is gonna be this is gonna be tough <laughs> all right let's see how this goes <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do it just because I liked it when Arch Venison did it. It's worked for me in the other game that I played. Uh, so we'll see what No Hat's response to that is. He, he's playing off to the side here for me. Uh, and he's probably going to throw in a wall or, or a, a, a capstone or something like that to interrupt my, my gameplay here. Interesting. Definitely interesting. <laughs> I feel like he has a plan for this that I am not prepared for. And I am very curious about what his plan is. Okay. So, <laughs> me placing the capstone there is probably a not great idea. Because it isolates me. And now, he can work on this, and I'll have to just disrupt it with with my line down here oh come on man all right 
Uh... Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? So he's doing that. All right, this is interesting. So I'm covering up my own pieces here, and I don't know how good of a move that was, but I'm kind of going... Yeah, it's... I don't know. I feel like he's figured out what I'm doing and how to stop me, and uh, I don't appreciate that because the game has just begun. Okay, so he is... Oh, he's playing really smart. He's putting his capstones in great position. So his capstone is right here in between three of my pieces, ready to capture this. I'm going to have to move it up. I have to. And he's probably going to move up his capstone. Yes, he does. Oh, goodness. I am in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm just going to keep moving it. <laughs> and he's going to maybe throw it up. Throw his cap up. Man, I am just... Yeah, he is outplaying me pretty hard. Okay. So his positioning is pretty solid. Um, sure, I'm up on flat count, maybe. But it's the very beginning of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six. To one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I'm down. I'm below on flat count. And he's out positioning me. That's not okay. Not okay at all. And now I'm going to get a wall somewhere. Maybe here? Yeah, there. That's the wall! And I don't like this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm moving my capstone without covering a piece like it's just ah it's not good it's it's not efficient he's he's going to just brutalize me with his uh with his flat count he's very good at this this is frustrating um so he he set it up so he knows that if i go in here with my capstone to make a hard cap with a stack He can move his capstone up here, maybe, or move, put a wall here and basically isolate my capstone. So I don't want to do that. Not right now, at least. Um, I'll instead just start building more in the center. Oh, and he's made it so... Ooh, why are you so smart at this? So he's... <sighs> why is... No had so good with walls. This is annoying. Okay, so he played this wall here so he could capture down, capture up, block this in, do any number of things. If I use my capstone to smash this wall to regrain this, regrain this flat back, he can come over and take this stack, which is why I moved my capstone here in the first place. But if I don't, he moves this over, uh, probably connecting, uh, getting rid of these two flats that are here by themselves. Uh, which is a, a, a pretty strong position, and oh man, I feel like I I have to do this and give up that. Yeah, I've got to give it up. And I have to wall here. Oh, this capstone is in a terrible position. It's isolated from the rest of the game. I thought it would be more in play. But this capstone at the same time is also pretty isolated. Now, in placing a wall here, not only have I disrupted anything moving this direction, and the reason I placed it here is because if he moves it this direction, he also covers up my pieces, which is something I don't want to happen. And... I place the wall here, which disrupts my own vertical stuff and some horizontal stuff that I've got going on at the same time. So it's not ideal, to say the least. 
Um, he moves these down, gets himself some great flat count uh, improvement, uh, gets them away from my capstone. Um, I build connecting to my capstone so that I can uh, move the capstone onto it so my capstone is not completely isolated because I, I don't want to be isolated uh, with this. This needs to, to remain in play or, or get back into the gameplay. So, so that's why I've got this connection here. If I need to, I can come down and, and capture my own piece. Also, he was probably looking to build a cross for a horizontal threat. Um, since this capstone is in the way and he can't do that right now, like it's, it's effectively blocking this, the six line, which is nice, but it's not being super offensive is the problem. And so in order to fix that, <laughs> I'll have to start building a, a vertical threat along here. Uh, and so that's what I'm kind of doing here is I'm also blocking him from going across this direction. So now what I'm doing is I'm building in this spot. Now this gives him the opportunity to come down and capture with his capstone, which I don't like that he that he has that opportunity to do that because it gives his capstone sort of more play. Oh, that's a sneaky threat. That's a sneaky threat there, no hat. All right, I see, I see what you're doing. So if he takes this stack and moves it along, and drops it here, drops the wall here. He can leave back blacks on all of these, and that'll connect from here all the way to here. And it's a sneaky threat. It's not, uh, definitely not bad. I'm doing that for now. So I definitely, I, I saw that right away, but I think that that would have been very easy to miss because it's not, it's direct. The wall would have to hit this and there's no pieces here. So it's very sneaky because it connects on this side. So that was a clever move. Um, and those sort of, sort of clever sneaky moves are actually very effective on sevens. And that is not tack. It is not tack. But I'm building here anyway, because I can sort of make this um, horizontal threat. And now I'm making a vertical threat. So I've made a vertical threat, so he has to respond to this. He can't go over here or do anything like that with, with what he's got going on. He's going to have to respond to what I'm doing um, in order to stop me and in order to, to continue making his threat. Because he's got this wall here that he has to move off. <clears throat> and he probably wants to save that to be the, the finishing move for his threat. Okay, now he's done that. Oh, I was about to make a mistake and lose. That was a good move. So he cut off my threat at the same time as making his own tag threat. Uh, very nice play. So I'm just going to move the wall over, cut off his horizontal threat. He's going to have to focus on that, uh, or cut off his vertical threat, sorry. And he's going to have to focus on the horizontal threat now. He's probably move his capstone over to give himself a little bit more... Um, Keep this a little bit more relevant, maybe move it up, maybe capture these, something like that. Who's going to go around? Okay. Well, I can go around his wall before he can make the connection. So I have the momentum right now. He can easily cut that. And he has... But I'll just keep building. I, I want to keep these flats being placed um, because I want to get that flat momentum going. So, yeah, our 
the current positions right now are are pretty solid for for no hat um Ooh, and he walls. So he's giving himself... Oh, man. He's making it very difficult for me to to win this, is what he's doing. Um, so I'll keep placing. He's probably going to move that wall up. Because I'm just keep... I just keep making these threats. He's got a huge flat advantage right now. It's it's like 14 to 10. Um, so it's not even close at the moment. And he's very good with his walls. He's placing another wall. He's got lots of walls going on right now. So I believe it's 15 to 11 in flats, and he has three Komi. So he is he is not worried about those flats for sure. Okay, if I do that... He'll have to move his capstone up to stop me, probably. I'm going to do it anyway. I like the move because it's it's kind of out there. And it doesn't quite... Oh, it gave him the win. I missed it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Capstone blindness as spoken in the chat. I just I I I was like, yeah, I can move this over, leave that flat behind, and then I can make my threat this direction. So I can be a make a really cool move, right? No, I forgot that that just gives him the road. <laughs> well, so <laughs> The result of the game was as I expected, with no hat winning. I did not expect me to make a mistake that bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, a little tip. When making a what you <laughs> think is a clever move, make sure it doesn't give your opponent the win. And with that, I think we'll call it a day. <laughs>